Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Min Sun Kim, and I'm from KAIST. I would like to present my paper titled Rethinking the Entropy of Instance in Adversary Training. This work is done with Ji Yun Tak, Ji Yun Shin, and my advisor, Song Ju Hwang. The starting point of our work was to question why current adversary training methods treat all examples equally. It seems natural that each example might have a different impact on, on the robustness. In response to this, some researchers have proposed an um, instance-wise weighting scheme in adversary training. I will introduce two of the most prominent previous works in this area, Martin and Gare. Both of these work propose reweighting methods on top of standard adversary training and trades. Mart assigned larger weights to the KR term if the clean example is misclassified. Gare assigns more weight to the overall robust no loss if it takes fewer attack steps to change the class of prediction. However, we discovered that these reweighting schemes are only effective against projected gradient descent attack. More specifically, they can improve robustness only against PGD attacks and are more vulnerable to logic scaling attack and auto attack, which is stronger attack than the PGD attacks. We were curious as to why this robust overfitting occurs in every reweighting method and whether it could be fixed or not. To find an answer, we first analyzed the visual representation of standard adversary methods and reweighting methods. We found that reweighting methods result in the feature spaces of adversary samples belonging to the different classes becoming more largely overlapped. Additionally, if the model is more vulnerable to logic scaling attack or auto attacks in the right side, the overlap is even greater. To quantify the features of each sample, we also analyzed the distribution of high entropy examples. We found that previous reweighting methods have a relatively high number of high entropy examples as shown in the bar graph. Purple tone bar stands for the distribution of entropy of reweighting methods, Martin Gare. And the orange bar stands for the standard adversary training methods. Moreover, there are 74.64% of examples that have higher entropy over 1.5 in reweighting approaches. This leads us to believe that Previous reweighting methods make the model more uncertain in its predictions, which can result in vulnerability to logic attacks and also against the auto attacks. Then, how can we fix this vulnerability of reweighting methods? We found that entropy is important standard to obtain the robustness in the previous observation. With those findings in mind, we propose a simple yet effective entropy-weighted adversary training, which weighs more on high entropy examples. Furthermore, to prevent uncertain prediction, we always pull example inside the decision boundary. In more detail, we calculate the entropy of each adversary instances and use the entropy as an additional weight for each sample. We evaluated our method on the CIFAR-10 dataset with PREACT resonant model and white resonant model. Our results show that our method improved robustness regardless of the architecture. And as shown in the right side, the TISNI visualization showed that the representation was clearly split compared to the previous reweighting method. We have validated our approach on a range of data sets, including MNIST, CIFAR-10, and CIFAR-100. Our reweighting technique has shown particularly effective on larger data sets, such as CIFAR-100. We conjecture that this is due to the increased 
uncertain examples when the number of classes are getting larger. In those circumstances, our entropy we rating additionally helps to learn more robust representation by focusing on more difficult instances. Uh, we tested our approach against various types of attacks, including logic scaling attack and auto attack. And we found that it did not show any weakened robustness as shown in the previous re-rating method. This led us to believe that re-rating itself is not the problem, but that the re-rating equation needs to be carefully designed to prevent overfitting to certain types of attack. To demonstrate the generality of our approach, we also applied our methods to RST that use additional data to train a robust model. Our model can improve not only the robustness of the model, but also clean accuracy. And from these results, we can say that when the data size increases, focusing more on high entropy examples also can lead to better generalization not only in terms of robustness. We also conducted experiments on the hyperparameter tau, which affects the smoothness of the entropy. As seen in the table, an appropriate value of tau increases the weight assigned to crucial sample, resulting in improved robustness. However, if tau is set too high, the weight will become equal across all examples, then eventually the re-rating method could be ineffective. Lastly, we analyzed the confidence and calibration of our models. Our models show relatively high confidence in their prediction, and also well calibrated the confidence of adversary examples. As in line with previous finding that well calibrated models can be more robust, our approach leads to learn also well calibrated prediction with attention on the high entropy examples. As a conclusion, while there are limitations to this work, such as the marginal improvement in performance, however, we believe our work shows consistent improvement in diverse tasks, which can be meaningful finding. Moreover, our approach is somewhat empirical and may not be the true optimal re-weighting scheme. However, we believe that it is the first attempt to address the previous errors in re-weighting methods and demonstrate that re-weighting can indeed improve robustness. And also we think we may provide new insights that link the uncertainty to the vulnerabilities. Thank you for listening.